And tonight with another deadly bacteria that has reached the Gulf Coast and officials fear it's already in our state. According to the CDC, it's been slowly moving north from South America and has finally reached Mississippi. Our Michael Gibson has the rest of the details for us in tonight's top story. This is a deadly bacteria called Burkholderia pseudomaliae. It has shown up for the first time in the U.S. That happened in Mississippi, where three people were infected recently but recovered. They were lucky. Worldwide, there have been around 160,000 cases reported, and 80,000 of those people ended up dead. Now that this organism has been discovered along the Gulf, we came here to Tidal Hall on the campus of A&M Corpus Christi to speak with one of the scientists about this bacteria. Dr. Gregory Buck is an associate professor of biology and biomedical sciences here at the university. While he and other researchers are always taking water and soil samples for study, this bacteria has not shown up yet. I would assume with our tropical, semi-tropical climate that it's probably been here and nobody was unfortunate enough to contract it. Oh, okay. Dr. Buck says that the bacteria is so dangerous that it takes a level three laboratory to handle it. it. Actually mimics tuberculosis, but the disease is significant because it can cause abscesses in your organs, not just only in your skin, but in all your organs, including your brain and other internal organs. There's not a level three lab here at the university, so Dr. Buck says he would immediately send any bacteria samples to our health department, which has a level three lab. That sample would eventually make its way to Austin for further analysis. Now the Centers for Disease Control are actively tracking the bacteria now that it has finally reached the shores of the United States. Modeling studies suggest that the environmental conditions found in the Gulf Coast states, that is Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida, are conducive to the growth of B. pseudomaliae. This deadly bacteria could be found in the Gulf waters or one of our lakes. Even the Nueces River could carry it in its waters. Dr. Burke also tells us it can be found in the soil. He advises everyone to always wear gloves when gardening, because if you get sick from this bacteria, the odds of you surviving it are just around 50%. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Mm, thank you, Mike. Well, something else to keep an eye out for.